What's up, everybody? This is your boy. I'm back today. I want to start off with we are going to talk about wrongful prosecution and your remedies when that happened. But first, I'm going to apologize to everybody that's in Minnesota and Chicago. 50 and 60 below. Bundle up. Stay home. And I'm sorry. But basically what we're going to talk about is malicious prosecution. And today's video is again brought to us by Cash Money. The fastest way to send money and receive money instantly with the lowest fees in the industry. And if you sign up using my link that's in the description you download the app and it's your first time signing up for it you donate five dollars or more to this channel cash app will send you five dollars so it's a win-win for everybody now back wrongful prosecution one of the things that we find ourselves in is we talk about how the district attorneys have pretty much the choice to cherry pick the cases that they want and they also take the opportunity to prosecute the offenders that they choose to prosecute which is why we have an overabundance of things that where you have see people with money getting off on crimes that someone without money serves an, en an enormous amount of years for and basically what we talk about when we're doing that is malicious prosecution Basically what that is, is the filing of a lawsuit for an improper purpose or without grounds or probable cause. This is the reason you have those stops that are Terry v. Ohio or what they call Terry stops. That's why it's important when you are going to fight these cases, it's understood that the reason they stop you, they had probable cause of a crime. And if you don't have probable cause of a crime, which is damage to person or damage to property, they don't have the right to prosecute you as a criminal or in a criminal action where your liberty is at stake. And a lot of people want to argue with me regards to traffic citations. Well, if you don't pay the citation and you choose to have a trial about the citation, the problem comes in because there is no complaining witness because there is no injured party. But then there's a prosecution because of that, and then someone's liberty is at stake. They spend 20 days in jail, 30 days in jail. Hell, even overnight in jail is the loss of liberty. Because while you're there, you don't have the right to do anything. Because you're at the discretion of someone else. That is a violation of rights because you're placed into actions as a criminal without a conviction. This falls under malicious prosecution. Now, the lawsuit may either be civil or criminal in nature to remedy an act of malicious prosecution an alleged victim files a tort claim by the same name. Now, the elements of this is instituting or pursuing a legal action that is brought without probable cause. Probable cause only comes from a crime. Probable cause, whether it's civil or criminal, has to have an injured party. Somebody has to have standing in order to have a claim. If there's a prosecution without an actual injured party or a claim, they lose the immunity of harmless error and that's what makes it malicious because there is a continued action after after being shown or it becoming known that there is no probable cause to move forward on any matter if the matter is dismissed in the favor of the victim of the malicious <laughs> the malicious prosecution and it's still continued you then have grounds to sue all persons involved in the continued action against you in their personal capacity because now they are no longer actors of the government. Why? Because they have lost their qualified immunity. Because we talked about qualified immunity being lost through two things, ignorance and willful actions. And they continue 
prosecution against someone knowing there is no probable cause for that action is a willful act. Therefore, the loss of prosecution, the loss of immunity is done through that prosecution. And generally, they're going to bring up something called harmless error. That is how you fight that and take away their immunity because they continue in action after there was a dismissal, there was a probable cause hearing, there was something that was brought up to show that there was no reason to continue that action and they continued it anyway. So again, waiver of immunity through ignorance or willful actions. Malicious prosecution is brought up as a civil action against those that pursue a case where there is no probable cause. So keep that in mind. Also, hit the link in the description, shoot the $5 or more over, get your five. Cash app. Talk to you next time.